Ahora que los ladros perran, ahora que los cantos gallan, ahora que al bando la tocas las altas suenas campanan, y que los cebús nos burran, y que los gorjeos pájaran, y que los gruños marranan, vengo a penarte mis cantas ventano de tus debajas. Eso es de la literatura colombiana. Estoy seguro que poca gente lo recuerda. From his earliest years, Alvaro Mutis had always been an insatiable reader. Jules Verne, Carl May, Dickens, and Salgari were his childhood companions. In Bogota, the young Mutis was not an exemplary student. To school, he would prefer the silence of libraries where he could devote himself to reading history and the classics. Yo empecé a entrar a la biblioteca y a quedarme horas en la biblioteca y más horas en la biblioteca. I mean, in some ways he liked the permissiveness of the atmosphere uh, that he encountered here, but in another way it didn't suit his, um, his temperament because of the, the, the fastidious, very tidy writer. He became the most articulate spokesman for, for want of a better word, we call formal poetry. Against all probability, the voice of a Russian Jewish poet pierced through the universal noise and was recognized in the world as a reminder of the hierarchy in arts and letters, a hierarchy above the fashions, follies, and politics of the day. When accepting his award, he said, Language and presumably literature are things that are more ancient and inevitable, more durable than any form of social organization. You are the first foreigners to come here till now. I've never let anyone come in here before. You are going to be very surprised because all of you know the castle owner's name. You even think that you know everything about him. However, he is a very secretive person. Welcome to the castle of Lord Greystoke, better known as Tarzan. Here you'll meet the great experts on Tarzan. We call them the guardians of the cult. Now each one in his own way will tell you his story. There will, of course, be some missing parts and imprecisions, but you will see and hear things that almost no one before you has witnessed. So open your eyes and ears wide, because this is a privilege that will not happen again very soon. I'll first take you to George McWaters. In the wing reserved for him, he has gathered one of the most unique collections in the world. There, you will find all that has been ever said in cinema, literature, and comics on Tarzan. And now we will see the legend of Tarzan unfold in books, and in comics, and in movies, and in radio shows. Olga suggested that I send you a telegram right away to tell you, but I said, no, that's too impersonal a way to tell her. Should have listened to Olga. Marsha, please accept this. Olga and I are married. We are husband and wife. What's done is done and cannot be undone. When do I have to leave? I can't deny your blood, kid. You're white, white, white. And you can't walk out on track. There's just no place to go. 
I mean, he was trying to free himself. His great mission was always to be free of past conditioning and things that would control him so that he lost his own self-control. And the nurse moves around the lawn with her silver tray feeding the junk in. Life is a cutout. As soon as you look out the window or walk out the door, your consciousness is being cut by random factors.